Right now, King 5 presents a special event, Growing Wellness, a Seattle Children's Odessa Brown Children's Clinic special. Well, hello there, and thank you so much for joining me. I'm Angela Poe Russell in Seattle's Othello neighborhood. Where I'm standing right now may not look like much, but it's actually the site of the second Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. And as you can see, work is well underway. In fact, crews are pouring concrete as we speak. And there's still so much more to be done to turn this space into a state-of-the-art facility dedicated to serving the growing needs of South Seattle. And we need your help to make it happen. This new clinic will be part of this unique urban community concept called Othello Square. Aside from the clinic, there will be a charter elementary school, early learning center, retail space, mixed income housing, and more. And for 50 years, Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, which is part of Seattle Children's Hospital, has served the city's central district. They provide medical, dental, mental, and nutritional care to kids, regardless of a family's ability to pay. And they do it all with dignity. And with your help, we can provide even more care to more children and families in our area who need it most. So here's what you need to do to give. Call 1-888-499-5437, or you can visit give.seattlechildrens.org slash growing wellness. You can also text OBCC to 51555 to send that donation link directly to your phone. Throughout the program, we'll also have donation matches to make your donation go even further. So stick around for those. Now, some of the video you're going to see in this program was recorded before the COVID-19 outbreak. The clinic is practicing all of the recommended safety guidelines to keep children, families, and their workforce safe. Now, let's go inside the clinic to see how they are growing wellness. Here's Kim. I think it's important as um, for parents to be able to have a place that they can trust and feel at home. They walk in the front doors. Um, and they know the people at the front desk, whether they're here for uh, immunizations, a vaccination, or they're here for a mental health visit. For Dr. Tumani Coker, working at Odessa Brown Children's Clinic means being part of a family. Hello, Kalia, you climbed up all there all by yourself? You're a big girl. What I think I love the most about it is working with this team. So um, I don't feel like I'm just one provider, just um, trying to provide care for uh, my patients and, my f and the families of my patients. And that care goes beyond the routine checkup. The clinic also promotes wellness through dental services, mental health, and nutrition. It's a, a very special place, I think, in the community. The fact that we have a team that surrounds the family and that can provide all these different services in a really comprehensive way and all in one place, most places just can't do that. Good job. Yeah. All the girls love it, they're happy. They always get the best yeah. services. You put your head up. The Benton family came to the clinic two years ago after their oldest daughter, Kalia, was diagnosed with type one diabetes. And so we tried this out. And we were really impressed with Dr. Coker and the um, whole clinic and the way we were treated. They're just so accommodating. And they've offered to pay for diabetes camp and just go the extra mile to help us because it's it's hard financially to have somebody with um, a disease like this. I'm always challenged um, by uh, what we can do uh, to make care even better for our families. Being part of a team that is all working towards the same goal um, and that's that's really rewarding. I had a chance to speak more with Dr. Tumani Coker, who you just saw in that story, to get a better understanding of the clinic's role in the community. So I'm, I'm just curious, what made you decide to work at Odessa Brown? It's hard to believe if you're not there, but it really is a family. Uh, and um, everyone seems to have really the same mission uh, that's really focused on, on the patients and the families that we serve. I have to imagine this, maybe maybe it's what you kind of aspired to when you got into medicine in terms of being able to help people? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think it's the, it, it is a community and I think having a clinic that serves the community is, is, um, is unique. I'd love for you, since you have a background in, in equity and diversity when it comes to healthcare, um, for those who don't understand 
okay, healthcare and the issues with equity. How do you explain that? So in healthcare, as in education, as in uh, any other industry, each individual person, their family, their community, they're going to have different needs that need to be met. And as healthcare providers, we need to be able to meet those individual needs. The goal is to have every, for pediatrics, right, is have every child to meet their full potential. And so to do that, that might look really different for family A versus family B, right? For child, you know, even for those of us that have more than one child at home, we know that some children need a little bit of help with homework, some need a lot. And so that's what equity is really about, giving individuals and families what they need to reach their full potential and not trying to figure out, okay, everybody's gonna have the exact same thing. And I'm curious, how is this second clinic going to help further the OBCC mission? I'm um, originally from California, so I don't have a long history in the Central District, but I know of the history and it's similar to many other urban areas, right, where we have seen gentrification and um, rising prices to live and uh, families being pushed out further and further from the city center as prices go up. So as we see that happen, uh, the families that need us the most, sometimes it's really hard for them to reach us. How would you describe why it is so important to support this clinic? The health for us is larger than medical needs. It's it's health and well-being, and I think we see it as a holistic way. So that's mental health, behavioral health, um, and not just when there's a disorder or a problem, but it's that prevention that's so important. So I think as families try to come out of this um, COVID pandemic on the other end with children who are healthy, who are developing well, and who are going to get right back into a school and reach their full potential, those are the that's what the contribution, I think, does. You know, as Dr. Coker said, Odessa Brown can't provide quality care without community support. And that includes the generosity of our local businesses. Throughout their program, you're going to see donation matches, times when our friends will match your pledge. In fact, for the next two minutes, Delta Dental will match your donations dollar for dollar up to $25,000. The number to call is on your screen, 888-499-5437, or you can visit give.seattlechildrens.org slash growingwellness. You can also just text us, text OBCC to 51555 to receive that link on your phone. Now let's check in with a familiar face to hear why you should give to Odessa Brown. Hi, I'm Jean Anderson, longtime anchor at King 5. But I've gone from anchor to advocate, advocating for the health of children and families in our community. If you think Black Lives Matter, the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic is the organization you should support. If you've been involved in COVID-19, affected in any way, Odessa Brown can help children and families most affected when our community is unhealthy. If you'd like to be part of making our community healthier, stronger, and safer, Odessa Brown is a place to put your support. A lot of organizations ask for and need your support right now, but to help children and families with their medical needs, which are so urgent, their financial needs, and sometimes boost in the educational needs, Odessa Brown does all that. It's the place for your support. I support the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic wholeheartedly, personally, and financially, and I sure hope you'll join me in supporting this most worthy cause the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. Thank you. You know, one of the reasons this area was chosen as the site of the second Odessa Brown Children's Clinic is because of the access to public transportation. It's also one of Seattle's most diverse neighborhoods. And speaking of diversity, you know, COVID-19 has impacted all of us, but it has disproportionately hit minority and low-income communities. And that is exactly the population that Odessa Brown serves. Margaret Larson had a chance to talk with OBCC's medical director, Dr. Ben Danielson. Now, is part of the reason why this is happening disproportionately historical lack of access to health care, comorbidities, that kind of thing? Explain what is behind this. I think I've said what I've heard a lot of other people say with various forms of analogy, but to my mind, the pandemic that we're facing right now has just put a yellow highlighter pen 
on all of the kinds of issues our society has faced for, for hundreds of years. Um, these are just elevated and there are exclamation points after them. We see them more clearly and yet they are components of the same kinds of challenges communities that our clinic serves have been facing forever, generationally. So I think that's a big piece of the picture we're talking about, which also means to me that if we want to talk about solutions and really helping us um, uh, do a better job during this crisis time, in addition to in the future, then the solutions have to really be based on the issues that were present before the pandemic showed up. Let's talk about that a little more because one of the things we want to do is look to the future. And it seems to me as we are seeing these astonishing figures that prove the disproportionate economic and health sufferings of certain populations, we can't leave that unaddressed going forward. I really hope that uh, this is eye-opening and awakening for us as a society and as communities, as a county and as a state. Um, we have this opportunity right now to uh, decide not to shut our eyes, not to turn away from some of the challenges that I think we all know we've been facing for a long time. This relates to rural communities, right? This relates to other communities that have been sort of pushed aside or have had a lack of support and focus in the past. And we get to see that really clearly. And the question I guess I have for myself for the people I work around, and for the other folks who really care about making a difference in this world is, um, how are we gonna wake up tomorrow and see a different day? How are we gonna commit ourselves to uh, longer term, broader based and more meaningful uh, solutions rather than hoping for a return to what was happening in January or last December? All right, thanks to Margaret and Dr. Ben for that. You know, I have to say Odessa Brown for so many families is like this home away from home. And that is exactly the case for the family in our next story. Like that place has to stay there. That place for Shamika Cornelius is the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. Losing it would be like losing family. And this was actually taken for Odessa Brown. We did these pictures to make sure that, you know, we put out there that we are a happy family through Odessa Brown. All three of her children receive care at the clinic, but the relationship goes further back than that as she herself went to the clinic as a child. It's amazing. I love going to Odessa Brown and seeing my friends that I went to school with become dentists and dental assistants. Um, the secretaries there are just amazing. Shamika says she's so confident in the quality of care at Odessa that she travels from North Seattle to the clinic in the central area. She also appreciates its commitment to diversity. It's usually the same friendly faces, and if not, then there's still diverse people traveling through there. So for someone of color or of low income to be surrounded by that and to have people that look like you there, it means the world. If it wasn't there, I don't, I don't really know where I would be. All right, and with that, it's time for another donation match. For the next two minutes, your donations will be doubled thanks to Delta Airlines. They're matching your donations up to $5,000. So that's for the next two minutes. The clock is running, so get your phones out. The number to call is on your screen, 888-499-5437, or you can just visit give.seattlechildrens.org slash growing wellness. You can also text OBCC to 51555 to receive that link on your phone. Our next guest is a true hero, known for his work on and off the field. He's a Super Bowl champion and a former Seattle Seahawk. I'm talking about Cliff Averill, who went from football to philanthropy. Here's Margaret Larson. I want to start at the beginning with the Cliff Averill Family Foundation. Where did the foundation start? Tell me that story. Well, we started the foundation in 2013, I, I, the irony and all that, right? Um, but we started the foundation in 2013, where it was geared towards juvenile diabetes, but also to encourage a healthy and active uh, living for the youth. And so you also had a connection with Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, which is kind of a, a jewel. No, it definitely is a jewel in our community and has made a difference yes. in the lives of so many families. What brought you two entities together? Well, so my wife actually, she attended an event about five years ago 
and she was moved by uh, you know the work that they're doing in the community. And we've talked about it over the years, and, and just trying to find different ways of of getting involved. And it only made sense. You know, we moved here to Seattle full time. We love what they're doing in the community. And and the biggest thing is more so than anything is it's not just the clinic piece, right? They do a wide range of different things, whether it's emergency rents, food, supplies, different things for the kids in the community. And, and it's just, it only made sense for us to partner up with them because of all the great things that they're doing in our community. They also do some really unusual and wonderful things. They have people from the community, people who've been through these experiences as mental health counselors, et cetera. So it feels like it's a coming together of something very, very special. And when COVID hit, you guys stepped up even more. How did that decision get made? Yeah, so uh, again, we've been working with them on a few different projects, but when COVID hit, you know, we understood, uh, you know, those same kids that, that have been going to school that are going to school aren't going to school right now and also you know a wide range of these kids are going to need help whether it be food whether it be assistance in in, in different ways because th those things were um given to them at school now they don't have it so uh, again you know with the partnership I, I have a um a clips crew which is a monthly meeting that i do with uh, some kids from less shy between the ages of eight and ten so I wanted to support those kids during this time, but also support Odessa Brown and all the things that they were doing in the community as well during the COVID, uh, during this pandemic. And again, they do such amazing work in the community. It was a no brainer to, to, to be able to help out. So you're actively spending time with kids, which I love. You have yes. been very creative with your work in the community and very steadfast. And I'm wondering if you can explain from a personal standpoint, why this work is important to you. Well, for one, the youth is our future, right? I mean, uh, you know, the, these kids, I want to I want to empower them. You know, the kids that I, the Clips crew that I talk about, the monthly program where I meet with these these kids from Leshy, it's all about exposing them to uh, different professions that honestly, a lot of times in these communities, they only see themselves as athletes, right? They, they only see themselves as being some sort of entertainer. Well, I want to expose them to all the different jobs that are here in their backyard. You know, I took them to the VMAC where, you know, they get to see it's not just the football players, whatever profession that you want to be in is in this building, whether it's a cook, a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, whatever it may be, it's in this building. But if you don't know, you don't know, right? So exposing them and letting them know that, hey, you don't necessarily have to just be the athlete, but also, you know, to be a part of the Seahawks, you can be a part of some of these other professions and still be uh, a big pivotal point of, of that organization. So. I just think it's exposure. I love the kids. I want to see these kids continue to flourish. And we got to give back to our youth. They are our future. Couldn't agree more. Cliff Averill, thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. The emotional and mental well-being of a child go hand in hand with their physical health. And the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, they have a dedicated team addressing these growing needs. Andrea Ramos Castillo works as a therapist at Odessa Brown Children's Clinic, tending to the mental health needs of kids and families, a need that's increased during the pandemic. There have been a lot of increase of anxiety um, related to kids that may fear that their parents are gonna get sick or their family, or the kids are aware of a financial hardship that their family may have. So the kids saying, I don't, we don't have money to pay the rent, and that just gives kids more anxiety. What are the consequences when we don't address the mental health of our kids? Well, it just bottles, bottles up. And a metaphor that I use with the kids is, um, it's like a jar full of cookies, and we can just put in cookies, and eventually they're not going to fit anymore. And we usually sometimes use the salt soda coke bottle right like if we just open it after shaking it, it's going to explode so we want to encourage kids to talk about their feelings so that then they don't explode for something that maybe is not even related to what's going on unfortunately mental health is not something we can see in an x-ray or a blood test so sometimes it's harder for people to understand it or believe on it um, there's still a lot of people that have taboo against it, certain cultures but the need is there and together as a community, we just got to work on taking care of each other and trying to continue fight for funds from wherever we can get. Because at a certain point in life, I think we can all benefit from therapy for one reason or another. So just working together to make it less, the stigma less, and just knowing that it's okay to talk to somebody and, and get the support that we need. It doesn't make us less stronger or less of a person. 
And the care that Andrea and the staff give to children and families would not be possible without your support. So right now, if you give, Axia Financial will match your donations up to $7,000. So if you give $10, it turns into 20. If you give 50, it turns into 100. So please give what you can. Here's the number to call. It's 1-888-499-5437, or you can visit give.seattlechildrens.org slash growing wellness. You can also text OBCC to 51555 to receive that link on your phone. Hello, I'm Sherelle Walker, and I'm a member of the Friends of Odessa Brown Children's Clinic Guild. I'm a big supporter of the clinic because they provide quality health care for the children within our community. There's no greater gift we can provide than by making sure our children are healthy and able to succeed in life. Please join me and support Odessa Brown Children's Clinic by calling now or by visiting the website on your screen. You can make a difference. Hi, my name is Mickey Flowers, and I'm a co-founder of the Friends of Odessa Brown Children's Clinic Guild. I support the clinic because of its mission. It has delivered quality, equitable, comprehensive health care to our community's most vulnerable children and families for a remarkable 50 years. Together, we can build on that legacy. So please support Odessa Brown Children's Clinic by making a call now or going to the website on your screen. Thank you. Now, throughout the program, we've shown you how the Odessa Brown Clinic is taking care of the whole child, medical, mental, and dental. Now let's take a look at how the OBCC is making brighter smiles for kids. So do you know what we're doing here today? I'm going to check on that tooth. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to put the chair back. Here we go. I'm Dr. Lim. I'm one of the staff dentists who provide uh, com comprehensive dental care for the uh, children of Odessa Brown. I just celebrated my 38th anniversary at the clinic. Did you brush this morning? I grew up uh, in Malaysia and um, because of the uh, g generosity and the uh, kindness of uh, people who didn't know me, I was able to get a very good education at Wellesley College and at uh, Harvard uh, School of Dental Medicine. Because of that kind of experience uh, and because of my training, I just felt drawn to uh, working in, to, in a community clinic. So this is like a little rubber donut. Um, we came in to um, have Selah's teeth, put a spacer in between his teeth. This one will be a little bit tighter, okay? Hang in there. You are uh, providing care to a population who needs the services and uh, in particular with Odessa Brown it's such a unique situation where you can uh, provide uh, as a you know as a provider who believes that all children deserve to have access to quality dental care. It doesn't matter where you come from but when you get here you're welcomed here and you're treated with respect and dignity. So you know what we're done for today. How does that sound to you? Good. Good, yeah. You sure earned a few coins there. We're gonna get some toys. You're welcome, thank you. Everybody that I've interacted with here has been nice, um, very professional. And I, I appreciate that as a, a person who visits, as a, 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 a patient, um, and I'm bringing my kids here. Yeah, that's why I continue to bring them back here. You know, most of us know Lenny Wilkins as the head coach of the 1979 Seattle Supersonics championship team. But for the past 40 years, he's been a champion of the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. When I saw what they did and how they treated young people with dignity, with care, like they were somebody, um, it became my favorite charity. Lenny Wilkins got involved with Odessa Brown Children's Clinic more than 40 years ago and has become one of the clinic's biggest supporters. I think it's important that we look after our own. Like, uh, you know, they're Tabaris, doctors, lawyers, you know, pediatricians, they're, they're, they're the future. We gotta provide health care, and some families can't afford it. 
uh, in our country, everybody should be able to have health care. So the clinic provides health care, uh, education, irregardless of one's ability to pay. And that's something Lenny hasn't always had in his own life. It wasn't easy for my mom. Uh, you know, she had a part-time job and she had assistance uh, from the state because uh, there were f uh, four of us. And, uh, and she had to raise us, you know, and, uh, and there, it was a difficult, uh, wasn't easy. We used to have to go to this clinic, uh, it was called St. Mary's, because we couldn't afford to have, uh, you know, a doctor come see us or go to a doctor's office. And when we went to the clinic as a kid, the thing that I remembered was uh, they weren't that friendly. You know, they, uh, it was like uh, we were encroaching on something. And, and I didn't like it very much. But uh, when I came here and I saw how the Odessa Brown Clinic was, uh, it just blew me away. Last year, Lenny donated his largest check ever, $400,000. Since then, he's taken a step back from fundraising to spend more time with family, but knows the clinic has a bright future. Well, I, I think we have a great alliance with Children's Hospital and, uh, and also that uh, when they complete the, the new clinic, which is uh, over there on Othello uh, Station, uh, it should be wonderful because they'll be able to do research and a lot of different things and, uh, and certainly uh, accommodate a lot of people. And so I'm, uh, you know, I'm just excited about it. Can't wait to see it open. Oh, I just love Lenny. And we want to thank him for his continued and generous support of the Odessa Brown Children's Clinic. Well, we're almost done here, but there's still time to give and we hope you make time to do so. Here's the number to call. The number is 888-499-5437, and the phone lines will be open a little longer. You can also make a donation anytime online, give.seattlechildrens.org slash growing wellness. You can also text us OBCC to 51555 to receive that link directly to your phone. We are all Odessa Brown. We all want quality health care. We all want dignity, and we all want love. And that's exactly what OBCC delivers. Thank you so much for joining us as we help kids thrive and break ground and growing wellness for our whole community. Have a great night. Growing Wellness, a Seattle Children's Odessa Brown Children's Clinic special is sponsored by Seattle Children's.